All right, here we go, people. This is it. This is it. We're doing red. We're ready. Oh, let's just not fuck around with it. I normally like to have a Raichu versus Pikachu showdown, but I do that every time. And just to make sure we don't get our asses kicked in this battle, we're gonna, we're gonna play it safe. Let me do this before I forget. Ha <laughs> Stuck my dick. Why am I going through the cave in the dark? Because I didn't feel like uh, using flash. I didn't feel like putting flash on a Pokemon and wasting a move slot. I don't know why. I do it that way every time. But I'm always so happy when I get through the cave. All right, here we go. Here we go, everybody. Final battle time. Oh, after a charm. After a charm. We're 21 levels down, and after a charm, we still one-shot. This is what you're here for, Dracozora! And we know Flamethrower, how beautiful. That's why you evolve your Pikachu, kids. Uh-oh. Oh, can I be a dick? I'm gonna be a dick. Psych, you thought! <laughs> Just to give him that attack missed. Dig is still super effective. It should kill. Oh, nope. Got too cocky. Look out! He's going for it again! However will we? <laughs> it's like you thought. This still might not kill. Oh, I got him. Cool. Flat 200 HP right here. 
Mind battle! Uh, his Espeon is gonna shit on my Espeon, by the way. I'm pretty sure it knows Shadow Ball, and if it knows Shadow Ball, that means it's gonna one-shot us. Espeon is easily the scariest thing here, because I have nothing to deal with it, uh, after it kills Spandau. Oh, I take that back. I, I have a T-Tar. <laughs> I have a T-Tar. Oh, never mind. This'll be fine. Everything here will be fine. I should have gone into T-Tar. I totally forgot. Now, we can't flinch it because we're slower than it is. So I'm going to keep in mind. But if it's Shadow Balls, we die. It's Psychic might still hit us. Pretty hard. Considering it's 13 levels up. He also might full restore it or super potion it here. No, he didn't. Okay. Uh, even if he crits, I think we live. It's going to be close if he crits. He didn't crit. Bum, bum, oh, I got something. I got... Actually, I want to go into Weep Slayer here. I really do. I want to give, you know, each Pokemon a fight. Diamond Cutter got Pikachu. Oh, you know what? I know what I'll do. It'll be fun. We're going to Weep Slayer here. Snorlax, outside of Espeon, Snorlax is the other scariest Pokemon ever for me. Because I've got something that can easily deal with anything else. You know what I mean? Like, I've got two things to deal with Charizard. Raichu's going to shit on Blastoise. Venusaur's already dead. Um, but Espeon and Snorlax are the kind of the wild cards, sort of. The recoil from this alone might kill me if we one-shot him. We shouldn't one-shot him. What the fuck? That didn't do anything! Holy shit! Okay, uh, yeah. So the problem here... Is that, uh... Is that fucking... Polyrath just isn't good. That's the problem. Oh, Reflex... Oh my god, Reflex up. Oh my god, Reflex up. I fast-forwarded through that body slam. We're dead. I feel so much better now. I was so upset, but Reflect was still up. I'm less upset. I have more faith in, in Polyrath now, even though he died there. Well, looks like you're gonna have to bust out my secret weapon. And good fucking luck dealing with my secret weapon. Submission does damage equal to your level? No. You're thinking of... It's not counter. What is it? Is it counter? It's not counter. Maybe it is submission. I really don't think. Yeah, it's seismic toss. Yeah, it's seismic toss. Why not crunch? I mean, crunch would give me a chance to flinch. Give him a chance to flinch. I don't know. Just earthquake. We have this fight in the bag. I should have stopped at level 55. This fight would have been interesting if we were all level 55. Oh, the dickhead rested. Okay, well, now we'll crunch. I didn't want to. I didn't thrash because I was afraid of that. So if he rests up, wow, that's why. That's why not crunch. For for the guy asking why not crunch, that right there is why not crunch. Luckily, Snore doesn't hurt us at all. This is a very slow battle, though. I'm gonna take two more Earthquakes to kill him, and he can rest again. The fucking Body Slam hurts so much. Is he gonna rest? He did not rest. Don't crit. Don't paralyze. It did not do either. Oh, thank God. Alright, that basically means we don't lose. That basically means we don't lose. Thank God. Charizard's the only thing left that could give us problem, but I have so many things to deal with Charizard now. Uh, the only thing that can't deal with Charizard on my team is Dracozora. Dracozora can't deal with either of these Pokemon at all.
Oh, for the love of God! Oh, it's disgusting! We take those. Did this fight ever happen in the anime? Because this would be a good-ass fight. Give me a T-Tar versus a Charizard. Let me see what happens. I mean, T-Tar theoretically should shit on him, but... That's gonna kill. I wanted to see what Rock Slide would do, but that's gonna kill. It's not gonna kill, though! It didn't kill Monopoly! Ubisoft! Get shit on Charizard, you suck! This is why we got a T-Tar! For anyone asking? No crit, didn't need it! Damn right. I should have stopped at level 55. Remind me next time to stop at level 55. Because the, the level 60 is just too easy. Even even being 20 levels down, fighting him is just too easy at 50 or at 60. I kind of like being the girl. I don't think I've ever done a playthrough as the girl before. As Chris or whatever. But uh, I like being the girl because when you play as, uh, when you play as Gold, Gold's still red. He's got a backwards hat. He's still red. But when you play as Chris, she is... Uh, She's blue, the color blue, and it contradicts because even blue looks red in this game. It's just shade is red, like red's right there, and then red is red, and you're blue. It's that, uh, like it, it's poetic. And that's Pokemon Crystal, people. I have a feeling I would have with T-Tar. Mewtwo, Mewtwo's not in this game. What game is next? The Secret Project! I'm just gonna let it happen. The Secret Project, to reveal a little bit more information on it, will be a YouTube-only project. It will not be live-streamed on Twitch. Which will make the YouTube people happy and the Twitch people sad. Until they see what it is, and then the YouTube people will probably, or the Twitch people will probably be happy again. But the next Pokemon project is going to be a secret YouTube project. Should probably begin getting uploaded days after this part goes up, if I'm on, if I'm on my bullshit. Should probably begin getting uploaded days after this final part goes up on YouTube here. And that's, that, that's as much as I can say about the secret project, but just wait till the upload comes, I'm sure you'll love it. I think you'll love it. I don't know. After the secret project, which I don't think will take long, I don't think it will be too many parts. I might eat my words on that. Maybe it will be. But I don't think it'll be too long. Then! Pokemon Bronze, finally. Then Pokemon Bronze, finally. That will be live-streamed. Uh, that will also have secret YouTube extras. All things, uh, you know, barring, you know, any kind of uh, weird... And barring any kind of weird stuff happening, it will have, uh, it will be streamed, but it will also have YouTube extras, Pokemon Bronze should, which would be really cool. And I think, I think you'll like the extra stuff with Pokemon Bronze, because it's with a guy who, like, wasn't known before, but a lot of you guys probably know the guy who made Pokemon Bronze. Actually, I'll, t I'll tell you right now, um, the guy who made the game Pokemon Bronze, uh, his name is, is Frico, and a lot of you guys, unless you have looked up, uh, Uncharted or maybe The Last of Us, uh, glitches and mods and stuff like that because he actually does the last of us mods and uncharted mods and he can he got he got a debug version of the game when he debugged his playstation or whatever really fucking creative i don't know how he did it i think he just paid a bunch of money um but he has recently been on uh she says boundary breaks with uncharted and the last of us and stuff like that 
So you might have heard of him. That's actually the same guy he made Pokemon Bronze, which is the Pokemon hack we're going to be playing. Like, fucking small world. Um. But yeah, so I'm looking forward to getting to that. Uh, other than that, that's it as far as Pokemon stuff I got to tell you guys about. So I hope you guys, hope you guys are enjoying. Hope you guys enjoyed Pokemon Crystal. Uh, when we do, again, not to get too far ahead of myself here, but we've got Secret Project, Pokemon Bronze. And I don't know how long Pokemon Bronze is going to take. I don't know how big the game is. Um, and then Emerald with a Twist. We're going to be playing Pokemon Emerald with a Twist just to kind of spice it up. Because at least for me redoing the first three gens, I kind of wish I would have done a twist with Crystal. I just didn't think about it enough time. Uh, but every, everybody's seen regular Pokemon gameplay through a million times. So, But yeah, if you're on YouTube, that's going to wrap it up for me. Thank you guys for coming out. Hope you guys enjoyed the Pokemon Crystal playthrough. Hope you're looking forward to more Pokemon in the future. I'm Thundershot. I'm out. Peace. Late. We will catch you all next time. Have a good one, everybody.